Mom taking pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically we all. There's more pressing thing like babies being born. Okay, I'm gonna hold it over there because it might fall over. Everybody. Hey. Yeah, you're right. I should. I'm gonna bring my toilet covers. I'm enjoying those toilet covers. Well, they should. I think they have toilet covers. Why do you sit anyways? You shouldn't be sitting. Whether you have a toilet cover I'm or not. too old. To hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, um,. I just figured uh, this is the night where I had to basically rearrange uh, my entire apartment, you know, just so I can get ready for a crib and, you know, other things of that nature. So I just figured um, I would put this on mute and then kind of just talk to you guys as you guys can see me basically rearranging my apartment. Um, what I wanted to do this night was basically get rid of that palette um, that's in my living room um, because I was going to make the other um bicycle coffee table but i decided against it um so i just wanted to get that out of there and and basically just rearrange my apartment to where it was just more fitting for um adding a crib and a baby so um but yeah so first things first um i am pregnant as you guys saw um i found out on august the third um and you know it 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 wasn't planned um it definitely wasn't planned um because i had actually broke it off um with the child's father um four days before i found out i was pregnant um so um it was a pill to swallow but i swallowed it and i'm still swallowing it and um it's a blessing and i thank god because um, he is giving me a wonderful gift and I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. My whole family is excited. Um, so we're kind of just taking it day by day. Um, everybody's super excited. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy how it's here. So, um, I'm learning a lot every day. Um, I'm gonna basically tell you guys about like my nausea and all that later on. Um, but first I want to just, uh, go down like a list here and I didn't really write this stuff out. So I'm going to try to just kind of remember, um, the stuff that I want to talk about. Um, but first things first. So my first appointment was on August the 30th. Um, and we, that appointment, I was, I was like really excited because I didn't know the, um, oh, so this shirt was given to me by my mom. Um, and it says faith over fear. Um, and she actually gave it to me because, um, she couldn't fit it anymore. So this is actually the shirt that I will be wearing, um, at my delivery. Um, but yeah, so, um, my first appointment was on August the 30th and I was super excited because, um, the OBGYN was recommended to me by my coworker. And I mean, you guys know, like, when you're pregnant or, like, when you want your whole family to experience something so joyous, um, you just want them to be able to experience it as well. So, um, I could tell my sister Crystal, she really, really wanted to come back there. Uh, my stepmom showed up. She really, really wanted to come back there. And, of course, my mom was there. She really, really wanted to come back there. Um, and so I was really excited because when I actually got back there, I asked her, I was like, Hey, like I have family coming in and uh, they really want to be back here. And y'all, the room was tiny. And so she was like, the nurse said, oh, okay. Um, so how many is it? I was just like, well, it's going to be, uh, my mom, my stepmom, my sister, and then the child's father, he also showed. So, um, it was just really sweet because she actually went out there and said the family of Jasmine and they just let everybody come in. And I'm just like, so grateful. It's like that one little thing, um, that I was really worried about that. Like, 
I really wanted my family to be able to be back there and they were able to come back there. So that just like, that just made my entire appointment and my entire day, everything. Um, and, and then of course we went out to eat afterwards. Um, and so it was a great day. So my first appointment went well. Um, the heartbeat is at 177. Um, we got to do the ultrasound, see it. I started crying, um, because it was, it was a feeling I had never felt like it was like, oh my goodness, I cannot even describe it. Like she, she pulled out the ultrasound and she, like, I knew I was going to see the baby, but like she, I don't know. Like she was like, well, there's a heartbeat. You're nine. Well, you're eight weeks and two days. And she was like, do you want to hear it? And you know, like we all say yes. And it's like, when I heard it, it was, it was just like something just shocked through me. And I just, I just started crying. It was like a feeling like none other. I could, I cannot even describe it. Um, moms and dads, y'all probably know that feeling, but, or moms really. Um, but it was like a feeling like none other, like just knowing that this, this being was inside of me and I could hear it. Like, I don't know. It was just really dope. Um, so that was great. Um, the first appointment was amazing. Um, so I do plan on doing like a lot of fun gender reveals, just fun experiments, just because, um, I've, I've always wanted to do those. So there's like a lot of fun experiments online that I want to do. Um, because my baby shower won't be until March. Um, the baby's due in April, so my baby shower won't be until March. And then my sister Crystal, um, she is doing the baby shower. So my baby shower will be a gender reveal slash baby shower. So that's when I'll actually find out the gender. Um, so this is actually when I'm basically just moving the futon into the living room. Um, at this point in time, um... I was kind of just moving stuff around, but you guys see. Um, but yeah, so my baby shower will be a gender reveal slash baby shower. So I won't find out the gender until um, March, but it's kind of like 50 50. Uh, some people want a, a girl, some boys, but I posted it on my social media the same or the day after um, I had my appointment, or I think it was the day of my appointment. Uh, I think it was the day after, and I just got so much love from everybody, and I just, I don't know, this is just a blessing, like, and I'm just really, really thankful. Um, so, yeah, so so that's that. So, yeah, so um, I won't know for a very, very long time the gender, but this gives us perfect, uh, like, a lot of time to just do a, a couple of fun gender experiments and whatnot. Um, so... So after I like posted it, um, all of my kids in my life, y'all know I have a lot of kids. Um, they were very happy for me. Um, and now y'all know that I'm, I'm actually got mom to actually four boys now. So if y'all didn't know that I have my main guy son, um, Brendan, cause I call him my main just because I know him. I see him the most. Um, and then I have my godson Xander, of course, um, but he's in foster care. And then Daylin and uh, Byron, you guys don't know, but I actually became their godmom last year. Um, so I'm actually godmom to four boys. Um, and so I just feel like I felt like it was only right for me to have, you know, a godmom and a godfather for my kid too, because, you know, I want my kid to have that that closeness to, um, like a godparent. So, uh, my sister Crystal, she's going to be godmom. And I actually have a, another friend, um, that I'm thinking about her being godmom as well. Um, so he or she will have two godmoms. Um, and then I have a godfather as well in mind, um, who is, who's just always been a great friend, known him since high school. Um, and no matter how long, we talk, he has always shown me nothing but love and that is a blessing. So, um, so that's what I'm thinking about as well. And I'm kind to try, like, I'm trying to kind of pray about it and see, because to me, you know, a godparent is a big responsibility. So I don't want them to take it lightly, which I know they won't. So, 
Um, but yeah, so that's about it. That's kind of like a big or like a small update. Um, I am pregnant. As y'all can see, this is how I cleared out my entire apartment. Um, I threw a lot of stuff out. I made room for the crib. The crib will actually go where that black desk is right there. Um, so that little area, I put the bicycle um, behind my bed and I brought the futon back into the living room. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, I really am just really excited for this ride. Um, and I hope you guys come along on this ride with me because it's going to be bumpy, but it's going to be great. Um, so yeah, so that's basically, I mean, really the only update I got so far, um, with the nausea I have y'all, if you've been pregnant and you felt this, but there is a constant, just really nasty skin. A taste that is in my mouth almost 24 7 my nausea didn't start until about probably week six no not week six my nausea didn't start until about week uh seven um and now i'm on i'm eight weeks and six days so i'm hoping that i read that it's basically supposed to stop around week nine or ten is supposed to be at its peak and then it's basically supposed to go down um, so I'm hoping that ends. Um, but other than that, I had a little mild cramping at first, um, and nausea and, you know, that's it, you know, so it's a blessing cause I don't really have anything else. So I'm hoping that that's a sign that this will be a clean pregnancy. Um, oh, and I, but I have been very, very tired. I just, just extremely, extremely tired. Um, but other than that, it's been smooth selling and it's been a blessing. So um, so yeah, so that's really the only update so far. Um, like I said, I hope you guys come on this ride with me and enjoy it. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video and then we'll probably do a fun gender reveal experiment. All right, bye.